Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have another highly requested video for you guys and it is what I eat in a day, as you can tell from the title. And before I get started at all, this is a sponsored video. It's in collaboration with an app called LifeSum. Um, it is a food tracker app. If you do want to follow along with this video on how I track my food, there's a link in my bio to download. Of course, it's free. You can see it's this app. There we go. What drew me to it initially is that it's like really very aesthetic. I love the colors of it and just like this, I don't know, it's just like a really fluid, nice app to use. Okay, at this point, my arm is literally gonna fall off, so I need to put this on a tripod. Okay, so now that that's out of the way, we'll jump right into kind of an overview of my diet. As some of you guys know, I am an intuitive eater, meaning that I eyeball my foods and I typically would not track. So I've been doing that for over a year now and honestly, I have really enjoyed it. It's taken a lot of stress away from eating. It gave me a, a break that I needed because I had tracked very consistently for a long time before that. Um, but I'm at the point now where, especially in the last few months, even with unintentionally, I've been slacking on my diet. It has been healthy, but I know that I haven't been getting enough protein. I probably under eat the protein each meal because I don't know about you guys, but I don't really love the taste of protein and I don't really like to supplement a bunch with protein. And I'm also lactose intolerant, so I don't get additional protein from dairy here and there. I'm going to track my meals that I consistently eat and I'll probably stick to that meal plan that I show you guys today. For a while if i decide to switch things up or i feel like i'm veering off that a little bit then i will track again so it might be like a weekly thing that i do that when i was contacted by life sum i thought it was a great opportunity because honestly i was dreading to download my old my fitness pal it just i just didn't want to so it was nice to have something fresh to use the fact that I'm showing this to you guys today means that I do really love it and I thought it was just a cool addition to my full day of eating video just to make it a little more interesting. I can actually show you guys what is in my meals rather than just being like, this is what I eat and I don't know what's in it. So I figured it would be helpful and if not, then at least you guys see what I'm eating. And another thing that I've been struggling with aside from protein intake is I really suck at drinking water consistently throughout the day. So that's important. You can't just drink all of your water at once or twice a day, which is what I was doing. Um, I tend to like drink a whole bunch in the morning when I wake up and then go through the day, not drink any water until I get um, feeling really dehydrated and then drink a ton of water again. Um, but this kind of temporarily spikes your blood pressure and your body quickly adapts to that and quickly rids the blood of water and you pee it all out right away rather than keeping a consistent um, flow of water into your body. So that is my goal. And of course, LifeSum allows you to track your water. Um, you can track water there. I'm not sure, you probably can in other apps as well, but I just think this one is really cute. Okay, so let's get into the actual video. First, I'm gonna show you guys the breakfast that I had this morning. I had what I usually have, which is pretty carb heavy. I am a carb lover and I need carbs to function properly. I've learned over the years that if I don't eat an adequate amount of carbs evenly throughout the day, then I tend to get really lethargic. I can even get like a headache, get tired and or don't feel like I have that much energy. So I need carbs fueled to my body consistently throughout the day if I'm in a caloric deficit or in a surplus or at maintenance. As an athlete, you need to have a certain requirement of carbs. I prefer to have on the upper end of the carb spectrum and on the lowest end possible of the fats. But um, you might have higher fats and then just the minimum amount of carbs that you need. I know some people prefer fats, so they'll have lower carbs and higher fats. That's fine too. Just find what works for you. Let's get into my breakfast. I have my breakfast in two parts. I have my first part, which is like my high protein part. And what I have is a slice of whole grain bread. I love whole wheat bread and plus it gives you a little extra boost of fiber. I have around 30 grams of avocado. I weighed this one out this time, but I'm pretty good at eyeballing it. So I probably won't weigh it every single time. And I just kind of smash that onto the toasted piece of bread. Then I cook my egg whites. Today I cooked three quarters of a cup of egg whites. 
What I have been previously doing is only having a half of a cup, which I don't think is enough protein. So today I topped it up to a full three quarters of a cup and I just fried that with some non-stick cooking spray. Then I put the egg on the bread with the avocado and it tastes so good. I cannot stand eating egg whites on their own. So essentially the avocado and, and the bread is like a vessel for the egg whites. So <laughs> I cook my oatmeal. So this is a carb portion of my breakfast that is oh so necessary for me. So I have around 30 five grams or a third of a cup of oatmeal. And then I add in a half of a cup of almond milk and some water. Throw that in the microwave for a minute and 30 to 40 seconds. To sweeten my oats, I put on a tablespoon or so of regular honey. This time it was like 20 grams. Then I like to put on half of a little container of soy yogurt. I love yogurt, but I haven't been able to have it for so long because my lactose intolerance. And then on top of that, I throw on my berries. I have around 30 to 35 grams of each strawberries blueberries and raspberries on my oats and this is so delicious. I love this part of my breakfast. I'm just going to show you guys how I tracked my breakfast. So if you look at the diary section, I've had 617 calories and yeah, so I'm going to look at my breakfast. I have had my almond milk, avocado, blueberries, soy yogurt, liquid egg whites, raspberries, honey, oats, strawberries, and bread. So now I'm just gonna have a little snack. I'm gonna have a little clementine for my lunch. And then I'm gonna go down to my snack and add clementine. And then that's good enough for me. I'm not gonna weigh my clementine, so I'm just gonna add that. So I had two glasses of water. My glasses are small, so I'm gonna only track them as one. Then I had one with each part of my breakfast, two since breakfast, so that's where I'm at right now. Okay, so I'm back to show you my lunch. I had another slice of the whole grain bread. I also had like a tuna salad on top. I mixed a little can of tuna, which is about 20 grams of protein, I believe, with two tablespoons of a low fat mayo substitute thing. I had 20 grams or so of each apple and red pepper, just to add some flavor. Sprinkled in some chopped cilantro or coriander. This is such a good addition. I actually only just saw it randomly when I was shopping for my groceries and it reminds me so much of spring and it just gives such a good flavor to the tuna salad, so I totally recommend it. And obviously, if you guys aren't into tuna, then you can make like a chopped chicken salad. Exact same ingredients, just substitute the tuna for the chicken. Toasted the bread, sprinkled on a little bit of low fat cheese as 10 grams. Then I just had a handful of sugar snap peas on the side and this was a delicious meal and I highly recommend it, really high protein and a good amount of carbs as well. Lunch, and I already added in apples, bell peppers, and my snap peas, and I'm just gonna show you guys that you can scan this stuff in, as I'm sure you've seen before, but I figured I would just show you. So, that's my cheese. One serving is 20 grams, so I'm gonna put, I had half, and a scan mayo stuff. And there's lunch. Another thing that I really like about LifeSum, when you sign up for the app, you take this little test. So it's called a life score test. You actually input your food preferences. So it pairs whether or not you're a vegan or a vegetarian, and it can give you suggestions based on that. So here's the test. So I don't have any specific preferences. I have lactose and milk. Ooh, I have fruit probably twice a day. So I finished the test. So this is what it does for you. Whether what you've been eating matches up with recommendations and these recommendations are just your basic food guide recommendations. I think this is all good, I like that. So here I've met these requirements, that line there, and then here I'm under on some of them. And then when it gets to this part, eh, I'm kind of iffy on it. Um, alcohol, I think one a day is okay, but you don't want to binge drink. These are good for people who are new and need to change the diet up a lot, but for me, 
I'm not worried about refined grains, sugar, and processed food because I know how to handle it and make sure that I don't have too much. So I have low sodium meat, for example, oops, um, and I have a chocolate bar a day, but I tend to have like a sugar snack a day and I think that's why I'm rated high. And then red meat, like I'm low on that anyway, so that's fine. Red meat isn't inherently bad. You can actually get a lot of iron from that, but I don't think it's the best for the environment or super ethical, so that's why I don't have a lot. For iron, you can have turkey instead. On that note, I'm just about to have my snack, which is this little tiny ripple bar. Usually, I'm not gonna lie, I'd probably have a full-size chocolate bar or at least half of one and like a shortbread, but that was before Christmas. I'm trying to get in shape. I'm just gonna have this, but I'm not gonna go a day without chocolate balance. So I was just looking through my app and I figured out how to change my macros. So I'm gonna go into the app and go to me and then click on this little thing here and then that way I can change my my macros. This is what came with the initial test that I did, which honestly wasn't that bad. It gave me 1700 calories, which is usually around what I need to um, maintain my weight or lose a little bit. So here it's just 50%, 20%, 30%. I wanna look at these numbers here. So I recommend one gram of protein per pound. So I'm around 115 pounds. So I'm gonna change that. There we go. So there's my adjusted macros. Settings, you go to water settings, you can change it. As a female, you want to have between two and four liters of water a day. As an active female, you wanna be on the higher end of that spectrum. So I prefer to have four liters of water a day and that's gonna be my goal. So that's 16 glasses. Let's turn it on so you can listen to it. <laughs> Hi guys, so I am back with my third meal of the day, which is also my supper time, usually a pre-workout meal. Usually I have a pre-packaged meal, honestly, once every two to three days. Sometimes for a week, I'll have it every single day. It's really inexpensive and here in England, you can get really good fresh ones, not very processed, like not salty or watery or anything. It's like quite good food. So I got these from Marks and Spencer. They're three for 10 pounds. There's 412 calories per packet, 30 grams of protein. So this helps me hit a bunch of my protein for the day. So it's just white, plain white pasta, fresh prawns, fresh scallops, fresh salmon fresh tomatoes and fresh spinach. So the pasta is the only thing that's cooked already in here. So this just steams on its own and it's literally so delicious. It's so good. For added veggies for this meal, I'm gonna actually cook up some asparagus as well. And there's the finished meal. So you have the salmon, prawn, scallop, so delicious by the way. Tomato, asparagus, and spinach. It looks so yummy. It's my favorite meal ever. All right guys, so it's the end of the night and I'm just gonna finish off my macros. I'm having a protein shake and another clementine. I'm gonna mix up a bit of this protein. Just a regular scoop of protein, another clementine, and that puts me at my totals of 199 carbs, 114 protein, and 37 fat. Should probably try to get that a little bit higher tomorrow, but I'm content with this for the day. I feel full and ready for bed. I also have two more cups of water to drink. I tracked the protein shake as one cup of water. Okay, see, so look, it gave me feedback on my day as well. So since I ate low on the fats, um, it's telling me to have some more nuts, which Honestly, that would be a great addition because I have low carbs, lowish protein, and really high fat. So eight grams is quite a lot of fat left. Okay guys, so that's all the food that I ate today. Pretty much what I would eat every day, except for what I mentioned, the protein shake, I normally wouldn't have that. So I might try to like have an extra protein snack or just like have that shake after my workout or whatever during the day. And then I should be okay. And I should, if I eat these exact same meals or like pretty well near the, these same meals, I should be fine to tone up a little bit more as in tighten up a little bit and lose a tiny bit of fat and fill out my muscles because I'm eating more consistently, eating carbs, etc. In summary, with the app, I honestly, I love it. I think that it's, Great. It's really easy to use. It's straightforward. It doesn't like scream numbers at you all the time. So I was gonna warn you guys because I just want to be honest and real since I'm promoting something. There are a lot of prompts for premium. So you'll be going through things and I've noticed this as well. Like 
you'll click on certain things and it like prompts you to download the app. So that's when you get these extras like the recipes and stuff like that. I think this one is more aimed at someone who's a bit newer or someone who's like a more casual health and fitness person. I think it's like less stressful and more low key. So I love it for that. Oh, and if you guys get a chance to make any of the meals that I've shown today or you try the full day of eating, then let me know how it goes. I'd like to hear you guys' feedback. If you think the food is good or not, I'm just so used to eating the same food. And if you guys decide to download Lifesum and give it a try as an alternative fitness slash food tracker, then let me know. Again, the link is down below. And that's everything that I have for you guys today. So thank you so much for watching. Bye. Yeah, I've definitely hit my vegetables. Ooh. <laughs>